was a cold night. And, um, I want to make a little campfire, make breakfast. There's no wind. Uh, first thing, I'm going to take the tarp down. to Haven. And it's so nice and we've seen so many fish jump this morning. I'm gonna troll. We don't have, I don't have very far to go but I want to try and catch some nice maybe a nice pike. Something bigger that'd be nice. <laughs> well that didn't take very long. Good size walleye. Nice. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Beauty on a spoon. Beautiful fish. Well, guys, if this is a fish, it's a heck of a lot bigger than the than the walleye. I think it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Guys, I have another one of those monster pike on the line. <laughs> this makes my blood flow, man. This is insane. This is crazy. I'm gonna have to go to the shore to... No, oh, buddy. <gasps> Look at this, guys. Look at this beauty. Isn't that a good start of the morning? Oh my goodness. This is awesome. Beautiful. Okay. Off you go, bud. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Well, here is uh, the entrance of Haven Creek. And uh, this will lead us to Cyclops Lake first and then into Haven. Back to the creek life. Here's the first seasonally shallow part. Um, yeah, we'll portage around here. There's a pretty cl clear trail and I particularly remember this one. It's two years ago when I was here with Alex, I actually got lost on this one and I completely lost him because the trail eventually crosses the creek. And I just went straight and I stayed on the other side of the creek. And uh, yeah, I completely lost him. <laughs> I got a little bit worried. I was like yelling for him and could not find him or the trail. <laughs> so that was, that was fun. That's it. And here's a trail. There we go. And I did not see that last year. I think this is it here. Most of the uh, boulders are gone. Like there's tons of boulders all over the creek there. And then here seems to be clear passage. probably have about, what, five, maybe six inches of water here. Right about seasonally shallow.
touchdown. <laughs> Not enough water. So water shoes go on and in the water we go. We'll pull the canoe through. You should see all the fish down here. Maybe I'll show you. Here's the first real portage uh, around these little falls, rapids, whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, obvious trail. I brought my bag across already. Easy one. Probably about 200 meters. So that's the part of the creek that I just came from, nice and open. And then boulder, 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 and a whole lot more boulders. So meanwhile, it started to rain too. Not much, just a little bit. I think it's just a light shower. I don't want to jinx it, but that's okay. Good for the fires. Maybe I'll go out and then I can go to Eagle Lake. Um, yeah, so Portage. Well guys, uh, as I just put my bags down, um, <laughs> I had my bear spray right in my pocket here, by my knee, and uh, I guess the safety had come off somehow, and it just ever so slightly touched the trigger, and all I heard was a little for not even a second, but I breathed it in, and oh my goodness, it is disgusting, wow. I cannot imagine someone sprays that whole thing in your face. Like being a bear, I mean. That's gross. Wash that down a little bit. Uh, all right, Cyclops Lake, here we go. In this little bay, we should be able to find a portage to Haven Lake. Destination for today, and probably my favorite lake in the world. Haven Lake, guys, and what a beautiful day it turned out to be. Um, I took my camera out and I hope to see anything, so I'm gonna be really quiet. Sweet home for the next two nights.
Well, here it is, guys. I'm standing on my favorite campsite. Anywhere. Look at that view. Nice little fire pit, which we'll be using for fish dinners. Got a nice big open rock here. All my stuff. And we'll put up my tent right here on this little patch. So I can sleep nice and soft like a little mattress. There's some trails going to the north side. That's east. So I'm on the south side of the peninsula, Haven Lake. Just a beautiful place. day which is nice not so good for the wildfire by Eagle Lake um, I might not be able to go to Eagle Lake apparently the fire is getting closer to uh, the portages in the north end and uh, yeah I was planning on going from irregular lake to Eagle and then back up through the Bird River back into the park but that might not happen I just got back in the canoe, I'm out fishing, and I'm gonna go after some big fish. I got one, I got fish, come on, oh that's a good one too, I need to walleye, oh, nice one, oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, that is what I'm talking about, there, there. Oh, oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> this one's a little bit better. <laughs> Look at the teeth on him. <laughs> oh, he ate lots today, too. Okay. <laughs> it's four o'clock. It's super hot. I'm going to try again later, like seven, eight. I think that's the better time to go. For now, I'm just gonna spend some time in the shade, maybe take my camera into the woods here, see what I can find. So, but what a beautiful lake. Oh my God, it is gorgeous. Um, you can also see the smoke from Eagle Lake down there. Yeah, getting closer. I went out for a walk and guess what I found guys? Like, look at that. That's pretty wicked, isn't it? Just gonna hang out in the shade for a while. Um, once it cools down a little bit, I'll probably go out, catch some more fish, maybe fillet some, have some walleye dinner with couscous. I'm gonna get some firewood ready, um, make it all ready so I can start a fire as soon as I get back, uh, cause I'm gonna go out with the canoe, catch some fish, fillet them somewhere, probably on that little rock in the distance there. And then uh, I'll leave the gut there, and then maybe we can see the eagles swoop it up. Um, yeah, we're going to come back, cook some nice walleye dinner. That should be plenty of firewood for my dinner. The grill is all ready. So now all we need is some fish. Here we go. Well, I just had one and then right at the boat, he shook it off. It's a nice size one too. Make me hungry just seeing them. Oh. Yeah, I got one. There we go. Maybe it's the same one. Yeah, maybe. 
Okay, he's still hungry. Okay. Oh, 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 did you see that? Came off. But he's in the boat. He's mine. He's mine. Well, I got dinner here. So. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the shore, fillet them, and then uh, we'll be back at the fire. And just like that, I uh, have four little fillets. Clean them, cut them up in pieces. bit of curry powder so good dinner is ready woodland caribou style and uh, look what I got today one of the portages I met two guys that I met last year and I do not remember their names I'm very sorry I feel terrible because the worst thing is they that they remembered my name so uh, but yeah we saw each other last year actually we flew back to Red Lake together last year from Donald Lake and uh, today I walked into Monte Portage from Cyclop Lakes into Haven. So, and they, uh, yeah, we had a nice little chat and they, uh, they gave me this, it's a channel marker light logger. Actually, I had one already today while I was talking to them and they are, ever, they are so good. So, especially out here on day 11, they, I did not expect that at all. But yeah, hey, cheers guys. Thanks. I hope you guys are catching tons of fish. The rapids at Rostul right now. Cheers. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, that's so good. A little fishing before bed. There you go, bud. Can't beat that, eh? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh. oh, man. Another beauty. Isn't that insane? That's the second one like that today. I don't know how well you can see, but oh yeah, you can see them. They're all little mayflies, just tiny, tiny little ones all over my tent. I don't know if you can hear the sound. Sounds like mosquitoes, but they're not, they don't do anything. I don't mind them. They're kind of cool. Look at that moon though. <laughs> Good night guys. Good morning guys. Um, 
I had planned to stay here on Haven Lake for the day. And it uh, looks like it's a perfect day to do that because it's windy as hell out there. The lake's pretty wavy. It's a beautiful day though. It's nice and sunny, blue skies mostly. Have a look. Uh, the lake's pretty wavy. There, I found it. I found a nice place, sheltered from the wind. Um, same place where I caught that big pike last night. Um, so it's about 10 o'clock in the morning right now. I uh, spent the first two hours of the of the morning looking at the map inside my tent, contemplating what to do because uh, I can't go too much further south. Well, not no, not all the way to the regular. It's closed because of the fire. Um, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head west instead. Um, as of tomorrow, I'm gonna go into Adventure, go to Bulging Lake, and then Broken Arrow Lake. And then I'm gonna head south, uh, southeast to Haggard, make my way back, and then basically in a straight line all the way to the southeast of the park. Hi guys, um, so today was just a nice lazy day. I planned it that way, it was a nice break from from all the hardcore traveling. Um, yeah, it's it's raining a little bit, it turned from a pretty nice day to uh, cloudy and well, it's nice and white, gray, and uh, some pretty dark clouds rolling by every now and then. But uh, yeah, it's about five o'clock and uh, I already made my dinner, a little vegetable lasagna by Backpackers Pantry and uh, I'm gonna eat that and I'm gonna retreat to my tent and then tomorrow we'll be going at it again. We'll be going hard. So I hope to catch a lot of lake trout tomorrow. So I'm going to Adventure Lake, which I've been to before twice and uh, it's a killer lake for lake trout guys. So I'm looking forward to that. For now, I'm gonna say uh, see you tomorrow. Wally Wally. Beautiful morning. On my way to Adventure Lake. Maybe I'll catch some walleye on the way.
That's number three in a span of like maybe five minutes, guys. That's awesome. It's like every cast. I found like a pocket of them here. Number five. And a little pikey. There. So I'm on the portage, the first portage from Haven to Adventure Lake. And uh, I'm on the right portage this time. Last year, Sarah and I pretty much bushwhacked through this portage. Not this one, another one. There's two portages that go from here to the next lake. And uh, someone marked the wrong portage. It must have existed before, but um, opposed to this one, the other one is about a foot narrower than a canoe. So you can only imagine what that's like. And uh, it's all this young growth. Like you can see, like it does burned before, and this is probably, I don't know, I'm not for sure, I'm no expert, but I'm guessing four years old woods, maybe. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, so on the map, the portage is here on the, the GPS that I use, BRMB, it's over at the far other side of the bay. Well, there's two portages, guys, so. Make sure you look at the right map. <laughs> this one's so much easier. And I'm pretty sure too that the, they took down all the trail markers on the wrong portage. So the same guys that put them up did actually. <laughs> so yeah, that's awesome. Thanks guys. This is a lot easier. Beautiful spruce grouse. They're everywhere. I'm all packed and loaded, ready to paddle to the second portage. And uh, so I walked the portage five times now with all my stuff. And uh, what a breeze compared to last year, guys. And look, this trail marker, it's so obvious. We paddled right by it coming from there. We paddled right, right by right to that rock right there that's where the other portage starts On the portage, guys. See the mark on the tree right there. That's it. That's the way they mark on there. Adventure Lake, finally. Um, well, finally, it's still pretty early. It's like nine in the morning. Um, I'm not gonna wait very long. As soon as I leave these two little islands, I'm going in between this little bay. I'm gonna go trolling for lake trout. This lake's probably one of the best lakes in uh, Woodland Caribou, or my own experience anyways, uh, for lake trout. So I'm trolling now for the trout. Wind's picked up a little bit. Exactly from the campsite I want to go to. No trout on the way, but we're at the campsite. Yeah, let's go check it out. So there in the distance is a island that two years ago I stayed on. I saw two islands. One of them was completely burnt, and the other one wasn't. And I was like, let's go to the burnt one. Makes sense, right? 
<laughs> yeah. So now, and last year actually, I stayed on this side too. Nice lush, nice green. So, nice big fire pit, although needs a little bit of work. And then uh, I'm gonna put up my tent here. day it's like 10 in the morning I'm out on the water again guys I desperately want to catch a trout so I'm gonna go catch one There we go, that's a real fish right there. Beauty. Beautiful laker. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going back right here. There you go. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, I'm back at the campsite. Uh, one laker, which was awesome. I had to go back. I tried for a little bit more, but it doesn't look like much, but. Out there, it's pretty windy and gusty, and uh, me by myself, I even had a barrel in the front of the canoe to uh, for ballast to keep the boat straight, but no, it didn't matter. Uh, the wind just keeps tossing it, turning me around to the point where I get frustrated, and it's not worth it. I don't want to be frustrated out here. I'm just watching the smoke from the wildfire over there now. It's always there. I thought it went out for, well, this morning. It wasn't really there. The smoke. And then there wasn't a whole lot of wind. It rained last night. So I was hopeful. And then, uh, well, it's right back where it was. So that's okay. All part of it here. Yeah, we're good. Oh, that's good. Mustard soup. Mm. It's one of my favorites. It's hot though. So, how do I like camping solo, completely alone? Well, you know what? It's awesome. It's really nice. There's a lot to say for it. Um, I haven't really felt lonely. I had a couple, of, I had two small moments where I, I don't know, would have liked to have someone with me or like to talk to somebody or, but I, I'm not lonely all the time here at all. Like, especially on the busy days, I'm just, um, so occupied with, Getting to where I'm supposed to go with fishing, catching fish, uh, you know, looking at the map and like I'm, I'm busy all day. It's like going to work almost. It's in a in a fun way, in a good way. Um, yeah. So no, I'm 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 not lonely out here. Um, I really like it. It's the first time in like I'm 32. This is probably the first time in 32 years that I've been like on my own for for this long. Like, Today is about, well, tomorrow will be two weeks. Two weeks, 14 day. Um, but no, I, it's definitely something I think everybody should experience at some point. I think it's really good for you. And uh, yeah, it, it, I learned a lot about myself so far. What's amazing too is that I don't really have to do anything here. I all I have to do is be at Johnson Lake on the fifteenth, two p.m. That's it. Until then, I can go and do whatever I want, wherever I want, pretty much. Other than going to Eagle Lake because there's a fire, but you know, other than that, it's pretty awesome to have nothing to worry about other than you know, making your meal, 
just going from A to B every day. But it, very, very basics. It's like back to basics. I love that. I love that feeling. There, there's something about it that just feels so natural. Um, yeah, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's, it's special. It makes me feel really good. It's awesome. It's where I want to be. That's it. I'm not waiting any longer. I'm going fishing. Yeah, finally we're trolling again. Oh. I was just waiting and waiting for that wind to die down. Every time it went down a little bit, like, yeah, 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 let's go. And then it'd come back up. And now it's, the lake is a lot calmer. Beautiful. Still a nice breeze. I'd be happy with two. More is better, but two is good. Oh, I had one right here. I turn on the GoPro and gone. Uh, well, the wind is back, and uh, I can hardly. Getting impatient, dude. Wow. <laughs> there, guys. Finally, number two for today. He's going back. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. There's another one. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Beauty. He's gonna go. Well, two nice trout, one of them almost, so almost three, I caught one earlier, so almost four today, I guess, I had three in my hands, heading back to camp, that's it.